Hello, Geminis. This is your mid-May reading. I said that kind of weird, okay? So keep this in mind as a general. This can apply to love, to romance, to careers, to families, to friendship, what have you, okay? Um, this is for the period of May 15th to May 31st. If it resonates, consider a personal reading. My rates and info are below. Just shoot me an email. We can make that happen. Additionally, go check my playlist. My sun moon readings are done and uploaded. Go check out your sun moon reading for 2018. I'm working on compatibility readings right now. I'm uploading them throughout the year, so go check those out also. Please check the facts below for commonly asked questions. And then finally, I'm on Instant Go if you need a quick answer to a quick question. Otherwise, let's get to the reading for Gemini. So, Holy Spirit, Angels, Divine Guys, Universe, can you please provide your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, your insight for Gemini's for the period of May 15th to May 31st, 2018? Can you please show us their prior energies prior to May 15th? Can you please show us the energies they can expect from May 15th to May 31st? And then finally, how will they be moving out of the last two weeks of May and into June? Please grant me the objectivity to read these cards as they're intended to be read and say your messages as you intend them to be said for Geminis for the period of May 15th to May 31st, 2018, and the period surrounding it. Okay? Holy Spirit Angels, can you please show me previous energies prior to May 15th for Gemini? What were their previous energies? We have the Seven of Hearts in the upright. Can you show me the energies that they can expect? Energies that they can expect. We have the three of bells in reversed. And then moving out of the last two weeks of May into June, what do you have for our Geminis? We have the full card. All right. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is, and I'm trying to make this as general as possible as in, you know, applying to all situations, but here you are prior to May 15th, lots of opportunities, okay? It could be job opportunities. It could be um, offers coming to you. Um, it could be suitors coming to you. So it can, it can go across a wide range of things. But the thing is that you really needed to kind of like look into what were you, getting, you were getting into. Um you know, to make sure, like if it was an investment, is it going to be a proper investment of your money? Um, researching offers to see which ones are going to be long term, which ones are going to be viable. If it was suitors to see, you know, if any of them have commitment issues or any intimacy issues. But the good news is it seems like you have opportunities coming to you. You have a lot of things to consider rather, rather than nothing to consider at all, which I actually think is in a pretty good place to be. Okay. Um, energies for May we have the three of pentacles in reverse. Now, this is a lack of harmony. And I feel like this is um, an inability. It's often an inability to work well with others. So in a work situation, um, you know, either you're not working well with others, you're not being valued. It often is associated with career or you find the work like really tedious, really boring. You're working with people who haven't planned out a project very well. So, I mean, this could very well be a type of career reading where you had a lot of offers or something. You finally did choose one. And once you kind of get into it, you're discovering that everyone, that things aren't working out as well as you had thought they would have, as you would have, um, you know, just because the people that are around you are buffoons or, you know, it, it just isn't, isn't the, the wheels, the cogs aren't turning. I often think of the three as bells as, um, or, or the pentacles as these cogs that are turning and they're not, and they're misaligned. Things aren't working out. Things aren't moving very smoothly as a result. So I feel like despite doing your research or despite looking into things, you still ended up in a situation where things didn't work out very well. Um, in the case of in the case of let's say it is a love situation, it could very well be there's a third party. Um, I I often think of this like a third wheel, somebody trying to insert themselves into um, a relationship that you have with them or a relationship you're trying to form with somebody, so that it kind of goes amiss is what I feel like. Okay, so we could have either like I said a business career kind of situation or a love relationship of some sort. But regardless, you're going to move out of it going into June because we have the full card in the upright. And I love this guy because he's pretty, he's pretty like, ah, I don't give a crap. He's banging on his tambourine. He's got his little, and it's funny because, um, he's got this little creature and it, it's probably a chinchilla. It's weird. Cause I taught class today. I actually talked about chinchilla. So how weird is that? That one that looks like one is in the cards. Um, but anyways, it's trying to hold him back. Okay. And, and that guy's like, no, I give no fucks. 
none whatsoever. I'm going to bang on my tambourine and you could try to hold me back, but it's not going to work. So I feel like going into June, whatever this situation is, you guys get the hell out of it. Um, despite trying to be held back by somebody, by something, by an organization, by the third party here who was, you know, or it could very well by the person that you were involved with and you're deciding it's not for you. You've had it and you're leaving. Um, because of the situation and they're trying to hold on to you. Can you please provide clarification on the seven of hearts and the uprights for Gemini's prior to May 15th? Who is this person? Was this energy additional messages, please? Okay. Person personality. Okay. So there is a, it could be a new job offer for some of you because we had the ace of pentacles here and that's very much about, um, a job offer, a new financial opportunity, um, a new beginning in regards to manifesting a goal. Could also be, could also be, well, it's also windfall money coming in, but I'm wondering if one of these opportunities here is going into business with somebody that you have a relationship with, I feel like, um, but I don't feel like it ends up, like I said, working out as it should because we have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse here, which is very much about, yeah, and we have the Sun card. So whatever this situation is, you you kind of got into it. Maybe it has some promise to it, even though you kind of, and maybe you did or you didn't look into it. I feel like you got into it with Ace of Pentacles. And once you're in it with that Eight of Pentacles, it really stuff isn't really working out like it's supposed to. You're kind of... Um, you know, stuck in a situation, there's no progress in regards to this. You're having lack of ambition. You're not motivated. You're just going through the motions in regards to this because it's not a proper fit, I feel like. And with the sun card here, that's kind of telling me that it, it's kind of a little bit of a downer or was a little bit of a downer. You feel like things could be so much better if dot, dot, dot. I don't know how you want to finish that, that sentence, but that's pretty much how it is. But now you're kind of in this situation. Okay. Let me see what's going on here. I, I feel like it's a more of a business situation. Can you please provide clarification or career, an opportunity? And it's not as great as you thought it was going to be. The three of bells, please. Why is the three of bells here? Who is this person? What is this energy? Additional messages for the three of bells in reverse for Gemini's for May 2000, the last two weeks of May 2018, two of cups. All right, whatever it is, it's not working out. We have the two of cups in reverse and the full card. There, there you are. They get the hell out of Dodge. So maybe you're having arguments with somebody. There's discord. Um, it could be a, a breakup. Maybe things aren't, maybe it's just somebody you're having a relationship with. And like I said, that third wheel is just causing so many problems. You guys are just done. You just decide to break up with this person, um, separate from this person. But it's the arguments, things like that, dishonesty going on. And here you are with a full card deciding you are going to get the hell out of Dodge. And the reason why you're going to get out of hell out of Dodge is because we have the seven of pentacles. You've put, you've put energies into this. You've invested stuff into it and you don't have crap to show for it. Um, and, and again, it's very tedious. It's very mundane. You don't have ambition. You're just going through the motions. This is not the right fit for you. Be it a person, be it a business, be it a career, what have you. It's just not working out. And you're deciding to get out of this situation. Can you please provide clarification on the full card? Why is the full card here? I'm glad you guys are getting out of it. Who is this person? It's interesting though, because with this full card, I mean, I showed you the one fool card where he's beating his tambourine. He's like, eh, I give no fucks. Um, look at this guy. Desperation. Um, a very, very desperate situation. Wanting to start a new journey out of desperation. Um, I feel like you guys don't have a choice in regards to this. Can you please provide clarification on the fool card? Why is the fool card here? Who is this person? Where is this energy? Additional messages, please. Fool card in the upright person. Personality for Gemini's moving into June. Sorry, that they block. It was a block. Person, personality. Oh, so you move. We get the three of pentacles. So you move on to a situation where you can work with people who do have their crap together and they know what they're doing. Um, 
and and you're working communally with someone, collaborating with someone. It's great. You're working on some project that's like fantastic. That's going to be, you know, put on public recognition. And maybe that's why the fool here looks so happy. Here he's desperate. Over here he's like, yay, let me get the hell out of here. Um, and we have the five of cups. So when you get into this situation, you actually recover. You're able to move on. You're able to have forgiveness. It's the end of suffering from whatever the hell was going on here. And actually, you might actually be working with friends. Um, is another uh, with these two cards together you might actually have a job and you're working with friends or people that become really good friends oh and you're not doing too bad in the money department either so I do feel like it's a business or career thing because now we have the four of pentacles and so you have security you have stability um, and I feel like you're you're making a pretty decent amount of money um, or or maybe it has potential to make a lot of money but right now you're being very conservative in regards to the money you're having or making sure you're saving it um, some of you, another thing, this situation, you're holding on to it for dear life because you don't want to lose it. You're very happy that you started this new journey and you're very, you're very fortunate, fortitude. It's fortunate. What am I trying to say? It's very fortunate that you got in this situation. It's working out very well and you're going to hold on to it for dear life because you don't want to lose it. Okay. Um, so whatever this was, it really propelled you into something really great here where you're, it, it is the right fit. Before it wasn't, but here you absolutely find the right fit, just out of desperation, and that desperation pushed yourself, pushed you to another plane. Okay, all right, that's all I have, Gemini, for your mid months. I will see you guys in June, right? For your love readings, keep in mind I'm on Instant Go. If you need a quick answer to a quick question, if this reading resonates, you need some help with something, shoot me an email. We can set that up. Check out your Sun Moon 2018 readings that I have in my playlist. And then finally, I'm working on compatibility readings. If you want to go check those out, my playlist also. Adios from Veronica Garnet. Good luck, guys. Good luck to my Geminis. Bye.